Hey guys, what's going on? Cac9 here from We Are The Cop Bites, and uh, today I have a commentary which I haven't, you know, which has been uh, kind of prolonged in a way because I haven't done a commentary in like close to a month, which is being pretty poor on my behalf, but uh, I have my reasons for not doing a commentary uh, pretty much because I too have moved to the Xbox 360 as you guys probably could probably tell from my uh, my new record and uh, and coins so uh, I'm gonna do a quick ultimate team update uh, it's gonna be a two-part thing because I'm gonna do two teams in one uh, before I get started in this team as you can like already see the players and stuff I'm just gonna uh, give you a couple of reasons and thoughts on moving to Xbox so far uh, one don't leave comments in the comment section saying trader and all that kind of shit because it, it just sounds gay because um, I ultimately I moved consoles to benefit uh, a lot of you guys because me I'm, I'm more you know, happy playing on the actual uh, PS3 controller and the PS3 because I'm so used to it. And uh, this this whole Xbox 360 controller has been uh, not really a tough conversion, but it's it's been a process nonetheless, which has uh, affected my game, where I'm not you know being able to do as many skill combinations that I could on the PS3. And um, the reason I did move to Xbox is because of the coins. You know, make better teams, hopefully score better goals, and make better content for you guys. So. Um, that's my reason for moving to Xbox 360. Uh, what I've you know come across uh, another reason is uh, the NAT type uh, or the the restrictions on FIFA. You can actually get open, and the highest I could get on uh, PS3 was moderate. So that was another reason. Uh, the second thing I wanted to talk about was the players on Xbox. Uh, they're pretty they're pretty bitchy to be honest. Out of all the I've played like uh, I think like 12 games or some shit like that, and like more than half the time someone's either got three bronze players on the field which I bring on beast players or they just fucking play like they play the most bitchiest games like they, they play like it's the Champions League final passing around the back like Barcelona which I can't stand but enough of that I'm gonna get in, stuck into these uh, first two teams so first one's like kind of a Colombian uh, slash USA team you could say with a Russian league in it uh, in, up top I've got uh, Inform Falcao uh, he's, a, he's an absolute monster man like honestly you get a chance anywhere outside the box you're gonna score because his power and accuracy is just crazy. As you can see from an 88 shooting, he's I haven't I haven't scored any headers with him because I don't ever cross the ball, um, so I'm not sure about his heading. Uh, it says 89 heading there, so it must be good. His dribbling is good, four star skills, and uh, if his pace is a lot more than 80, I can tell you that for sure. Next, my center forward, Martinez, 88 pace, four star skills, uh, good dribbling, uh, 79 heading, and not the best shooting. He's all right. His pace doesn't really feel like 88 pace, but uh, nonetheless, he's he's pretty good. He does the job. Uh, then, as my center attacking mid, one of my favorite players in the game, which is Moreno. 76 pace, which I believe is up in like 83, 84. Um, his shooting is really, really good. He, you know, keepers really struggle to hold the ball once you get a long shot from him. Uh, he's passing, you know, it says 64 there, but I can't really tell, you know, when it comes to passing stats. Uh, his dribbling uh, is, is pretty good. You know, as I said, he's five-star skills, and he's just an absolute monster. And I'm, I'm really loving him as a center attacking mid position. My other center attacking mid is Carlos Eduardo. Uh, monster pace, great left-footed shot, both uh, powered and finesse, good dribbling, and uh, pretty beast free kicks. Center defensive mid, I have Roberto Carlos. Uh, his pace is really, really good for, for some reason. I thought he'd be heaps slower. His long shots are just fucking freaky as, man, they just dip out of nowhere. Good passing, uh, good defending stats, and um, even though he's three-star skills, you can probably go on some good skill runs. Now, this guy here, Ibarda, uh, he's, he's really, really quick. Now, he's got good defending. His shooting stats aren't the best, but he's only two-star skills. Uh, but, you know, he, he gets me the nine chem with every single player, so uh, he, he was a necessity to have in the team. Now I've got uh, Almero, a left-back from, uh, I think it's Udinese in Syria. Um, he's got good pace, uh, solid defending. Uh, his heading isn't the best, but he's a wing back, so uh, I'm just interested in the pace and the defending, which is which does the job. Uh, then I have uh, Mr. Wine, which has got you know the fastest center back in the game with 96 pace. Um, I'm not really interested about the shooting and passing and dribbling stats. His defending isn't the best. His heading is all right. But the reason I have him in the team is basically because he can catch up to fast strikers like a bomb horn shit. Uh, next to him I have Opara, another player from um, from the MLS from San Jose Earthquakes. Uh, 81 pace, shit shooting, shit passing, uh, eh, pretty average dribbling for a defender. Uh, his defending isn't the best, but again, it's just the pace and the heading that I'm interested in. And uh, now we move on to the right back. It just looks like some fucking black head with eyes. Um, 
Angboa. I'm not trying to be racist or anything, but it's true. Like, they, maybe they could have got a bit of picture of him or something. They got some pretty fucked up pictures in this game. Uh, 91 pace. Absolute fucking freak of guy when it comes to pace. Uh, 70 defending, 70 heading. Pretty good. Any goals have Brad Friedel where you kick it from out inside your box and it goes fucking all the way to their other keeper. So, Brad Friedel in form is really, really good. So far in this commentary, if you think my voice sounds pretty fucked up, it's basically because it is. Uh, I had a swimming carnival for school on uh, Monday and my throat is just absolutely fucked so uh, I did a lot of chanting and I actually did some Liverpool chants even though we lost like fucking two days earlier but nonetheless gotta show my support for the mighty Reds can't wait for Lucas Lieber to come back next season anyways it's my second team uh, you know it's fucking <laughs> it's not the average Brazilian team but it's the average Brazilian team when you have the ideal players that you want uh, it gives me a four and a half star rating and that's because I've got a lot of Brazilers in there um, but here we go, I've got Inform Neymar, um, I've played a couple of games with him, he's just, he's, he's very good, I'm surprised at how good his shooting is actually, uh, his pace and dribbling, just the stats, you know, speak for itself, uh, Wallison, he's like the un most underrated player in this game, I think, um, me and Roberto are going to do a, a, a series where we talk about underrated players, uh, one of us will do Wallison, of course, because, you know, he's so cheap, and for the price you can get him, and, and his stats and, and his 5 star skills are just amazing. And then my other striker is Marlos. I have Marlos said because he's five star skills. Uh, he's got a good left foot on him. Uh, pretty pacey, good dribbling, and does the job on the uh, right striker. Now Mariah, she he doesn't have the best pace, uh, you know, or defending stats because he actually is a, I think he's a center attacking middle striker. But uh, he's really really good five star skills, decent shooting, decent passing, and um, you know with with the defenders I have, um, I seem to be able to do the job. Now, I got Ronaldinho in the midfield, one of my favorite players in the game, just because the skill ones you can go on with, go on with him are amazing. Uh, he's actually got pretty decent strength from from when um, someone tries to tackle him. Like, if you do a roulette and you get fouled, uh, and the referee doesn't give it like they never usually do, uh, he, he actually continues on with the ball somehow, so I'm, I'm really impressed with him. He's got fucking freaky free kicks. Uh, you can finesse from pretty much anywhere and it'll go in, and he's just an overall beast. Uh, and then my other center mid is Carlos Alberto. Uh, again, not the best shoot, uh, pace, but his shooting and dribbling is just fucking freaky. So, so far, I've already gone through six players and they all have five-star skills. And this is my last five-star skill in this team, Masia Azevedo, 89 pace, left-footed, uh, decent dribbling, decent defending. Uh, his shooting is actually all right, even though I haven't scored a goal with him ever, but um, he's, he's still pretty good. Dede, another one of the underrated uh, players in the game, uh, fucking monster pace. His defending and heading is just crazy. He's so strong on the ball, and um, no one can seem to get past him. And David Luiz, for some reason, he's like the best player, best defender in this game. Whenever I come across David Luiz, he's like the hardest player to you know get past. So instead of having Naldo, uh, I signed David Luiz for my squad. So 79 pace, uh, 82 defending, 79 heading. His passing's pretty good. I think his shooting should be higher up because he he does score a lot of goals for Chelsea. And uh, in my right back, I've got Danny Alves. Pace is freaky. Four star skills. Uh, monster shooting. I've scored I think like. Only two or three goals with him, but they've all been long shots, and they've all been pretty nice. Um, they, you know, quality of defending, good heading, good dribbling, good passing. Barcelona right back, of course, is going to be good. And in goals, I have Julio Cesar. So, he, um, he has his um, on and off days. But um, that's my squad. Now, my trade pile, as you can see here, I'm selling two teams now. Uh, I ended up selling Messi and someone else. But the thing is, I need you, I need you guys' help. What team should I build? I want to build either uh, a Serie A team because I watched, um, you know, the Moody Sweet or Bobby. Uh, I watched his FIFA Day 2 today and it was fucking amazing. And um, the the players and the goals that he scored were just really, like, they really, really impressed me. So I was thinking maybe I might make a team like that but with, like, the inform Boateng. Um, maybe get an... I don't know if I should get an inform Cavani. I, I don't know. Uh, I'll get, like... I don't know who I'd get. I'd probably get the same players, but if I can get informs of them, I'd get informs. Uh, or, I'd, or I was thinking about making a Bundesliga team with, um, with say, uh, my uh, 85 Podolski up front, Ruben on the right, um, Ribéry on the left, and then uh, maybe an inform Kagawa, you know, Gotze, uh, Bastian Schweinsteiger, and, uh, you know, just try and make a beast uh, German team. So... Um, thank, thanks for watching guys, please have a like rating for these first two squads, I'm going to do um, part two now, but I'll, I'll probably upload this in the next two to three days, because I think uh, Roberto wants to get a couple of videos out, so uh, thanks for watching guys, and I will talk to you all later.